Hi everyone, today we're gonna look at our new development, uh, the new plugin for QGIS. Uh, it's called OSM Info. OSM Info has been around for a while now, and we today we're gonna see one very important new feature of of this plugin that allows you to quickly extract information from OpenStreetMap database. So in a nutshell, OSM info is a is a one tool is is a is a single tool that is uh, the ability which gives you the ability to click anywhere uh, on Earth and extract information from OpenStreetMap. So you can, for example, zoom in somewhere and as you can see you just have a uh, a layer a base map layer right now so it's a raster no vectors here but you can click anywhere and uh, what OSM info does is it sends overpass API request to OpenStreetMap database and extract information in this point and it gives you two uh, two uh, results sections. One is the nearby features, and one is features that encompass uh, the point of click. So, for example, in this click, it shows me that there is a cemetery, right? So we can unfold and look at uh, all the information about the cemetery, and then it is located within Kansas City. It is also located within Jackson County. Missouri State and finally it is part of the United States of America. Uh, important feature is in a, in, a, in, a, in a latest version is the ability to actually save the data. So we clicked somewhere we get this information from OpenStreetMap and now it's just a highlight no new layers. What do we do? Right now, with, with the new version, we can just say save a temp, save it as a temporary layer. And here's our vector right away. We can open its table and we can see all these attributes. And if you need a, a boundary of a county, you just say save as a temporary layer. There you go. Other, other attributes. And then let's say I wanted, I wanted boundaries of a Missouri state from OpenStreetMap. Save as a temporary layer. And finally, how about current version of boundaries of all United States with all the uh, territories and multi polygons and uh, rings, etc. Save as a temporary layer. And it works. So we, we, we now have all our features extracted with just really a single click, right? Let's try something else. Let's say you have, a, you have a, some satellite imagery and you're really doing a geography class and you, you're wondering what kind of what kind of water object is, is that? That's all you have is just a satellite imagery, so there is no labels here or anything. There you go. Always send info to the rescue. You just click here on this object, mysterious lake, and it says what it is. You can see all the information about it. And with the new version, you can save it as a temporary as a temporary vector layer, and use it in your GIS, doing everything you can. With this, with, with with vector data. I hope you like it. Let us know what you think. Have fun. Bye.